Hello, my name is Joey. I'm a product documentation manager at Yext. Today I will walk you through how to configure the search tracker so you can determine exactly which searches you would like our system to run. The search tracker is a tool that runs a series of searches about your business based on keywords that you indicate and compiles the results so you can better understand how and when your business is appearing in search. To get started, log into your Yext account. Then click Content in the navigation bar and click Entities. Then click on the desired entity. If you have more than one entity, you can use the filter options at the top or on the left side of the page. On this page, click Search Tracker in the left sidebar. The first thing you need to do is enable this feature. To do this, click into the field titled Search Tracker Enabled and click Yes from the drop down menu. Then click Save. Now that it's enabled, you want to select the frequency of how often you'd like our system to run these searches. So click into the Search Tracker Frequency field and select your desired frequency, either weekly, monthly, or quarterly from the drop down. We recommend selecting weekly or monthly. Once you select your frequency, click Save. Next, you can select keywords. Here you can select the name, primary category, and secondary category, so your name and categories will be included in these searches. Once you select these options, click Save. You can also add in custom keywords. Here you can add up to five additional keywords you would like to track in search. To add more than one, click Add an Item. When you're finished, click Save. Next, you'll want to select Query Templates. This is an easy way to transform keyword searches into relevant local searches. You can select up to four templates by checking the boxes next to your desired query template. Then click Save. The next field is titled Alternate Names. This is where you can add any other names you may use for your entity or any common misspellings. Below this field, you will see Alternate Websites. This is an optional field where you can add alternate websites that you may use for your entity, so those can also be tracked in these searches. Once you add this in, click Save. If you do not have any alternate names or websites, feel free to leave these blank. Finally, choose which search engines you want to run these queries on. You can select your desired sites by checking the boxes next to each site name. Then click Save. Now that you've configured your settings, you will want to check back in to see your first week or month's worth of data. To view your data, click Analytics in the navigation bar and click Search Tracker. Click Search Tracker again. If you already have configured the Search Tracker for another entity, you will see all of that existing data. Otherwise, you will see Search Tracking in progress until your data is ready. Thanks for tuning in today, and I hope you enjoyed this demo. Please visit our YouTube channel or hitchhikers.yex.com for more content and continued learning.